Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi boys and girls, this is Mr. Woods. Today I'm going to be going over how to tell time and also how to um, use different uh, manipulatives that you may have at home. Or if you don't have one, you can make one. So, this morning I'm going to go over this one. I love this. It's, it's so simple. It, it's a regular clock and such. But some of you might go, well, wait a minute, I can't move both of those, those clock hands. Well, here I have the minute hand, and I can move that. But as you notice, as I move the minute hand, the hour hand moves as well. So the hour hand is the short or the small hand, and the minute hand is the long or the big hand. And so I'm moving around. So I can say, okay, this is 1 o'clock. The minute hand is at the 12, and the hour hand is at the 1. Now, if I want to go by uh, 15s, each one of these you see like 5, 10, 15. That's how many minutes. So here we go, 115. See how I'm manipulating that? I'm moving it around. I'm making it so that I can go, oh, visualize what time is it. Also, if I say, hey, it's 20 after 1, you can count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20. Notice how, is, how the minute hand is getting closer to the 6. The hour hand starts going in between the 1 and the 2. And if we get it right here at 1.30, or 30 minutes after 1, that hour hand is directly in the middle. So I can keep on manipulating this, come over here to... 145. See how it starts getting closer to 2 with the hour hand? And then as the minute hand reaches 12, it's 2 o'clock. Okay, so you have this here, and I'm going to show you something else uh, to where we can, you can make your own little clock. And I'm going to take you step by step. So first, if you can find something that you can draw a circle around, and I just happen to have this where it's a piece of tape, and I can go around it with my marker. You know, I probably want to use a pencil or, well, I don't know, it just depends on how you want to do it. So now I have a nice circle, and I can cut that out and then write the numbers on it, but I'm going to go ahead and write the numbers on it to begin with. So I'm going to use my ruler so I can get some straight lines here, and I'm just approximating it so that I can get my primary points, because that's going to be 12, and then 1, 2, 3, so I can say... One, two, and over here and here. There's just so many different ways I can uh, do it. I'm just doing approximations here just so that I can get the numbers down. So I can say this is 12, or I can put it on the inside. I'm going to put it on the inside now. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Okay, and approximately the center is going to be right about there. That's just the approximate center. All right, so what I want to do is I want to, I, I've done that. I want to, I want to cut it out. Oh, wait a minute. I need, okay, so let's measure out. This will be my minute hand, and I'm going to say it's going to be about two inches. So I'm going to measure out two inches. Okay, and then I'm going to measure out to the side just a little bit. And I'm going to stop, and I'm going to do the same thing over here. Measure out to the side, and then stop. What that's going to do is make it so that that is my minute hand. And then I want to make it a little bit shorter, so I'll probably do like you know, one and a half or so for my uh, hour hand. So there we go. So this will be... That's the total length. And then I'll come out here, and I'm going to draw just a little bit short at that. And again, I'm going to repeat that over here. And that'll give me my... There we go. See, how now I have my minute hand and I have my hour hand. Now, they're, they're, the, the minute hand is always going to be shorter than the hour hand. So now I can cut out my clock. I can cut out my hands here. 
uh, and this is so that I can have it at home and I can practice at home. Oh, wait a minute. Let's uh, make my minute hand. I'm going to make it blue. Look at that. There's blue. And then I can make my hour hand red, just like... Look at that. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just trying to get it out like that. So I'm going to get a pair of scissors. I have adult scissors, but you may have your own smaller scissors uh, for, for kids and such. So I'm going to go through I'm just going to cut this out. I can just go around it. There we go. See how I'm just cutting around it? I'm going to go ahead and give it a, a little top there. There we go. Have it where you can see the 12 there. And I'm cutting out my, my circle with my clock face on it. So there's my clock face. Now I'm going to have my minute hand. Uh, no, it just and it just takes a moment. I could even tear it out if I wanted to. I'd be very careful about that. But uh, uh, I'm using scissors because you know, it's just easier to cut it out, and plus it looks nicer too. Oops, let me put that a little bit, a little bit closer there. So now. Now I have my clock face. Notice how the 12's at the top. And I have my minute hand and I have my hour hand right here. So I can go through the same thing. I can say, put it there for, let's say, for 1 o'clock. Oops. So 1 o'clock. So now I can visualize it at home whether I have this great manipulative here or I'm working with that. So again, there's one o'clock, there's one fifteen. If you have a little brad thingy, you can poke a hole in the middle there so that it stays and such. Or if I had a push pin or something like that and this piece of cardboard, I could have just pushed it in there and I can rotate it around. I want you to be creative. I want you to make it so that this is your project. Take ownership of this so that you can learn how to uh, tell time. Until next time. Remember that math fluency replaces math anxiety.